What is going on YouTube? This is Jim, joined by my buddy Brent Casina and Serge. I'm drinking a Surge for the first time in 15 years. What do you think? It's like less potent uh, Mountain Dew. Wow, that, that's a real Almost like, you know how Diet Mountain Dew tastes like shit? This is uh, way better than that, but still, it's not Mountain Dew. Well, okay, you are here because fate has brought us together. Once again, fate Brothers in Arms brought has together. brought us together for a definitive moment in my life. As you know, a definitive. This is how excited I am. I am the biggest Halo fan in the planet. I love Halo 5. I talk to you about it all the time. I've read the books. I've watched the podcast. I've read the comic books. Believe it or not, I've read the comic books. I'm the Halo fan of Halo fans. When this figure was announced that I'm about to show, I pre-ordered it four months before my birthday because I knew I wanted it. And I don't. And it was like a pre-order for my birthday. My birthday came and left without much fanfare. You did take me to lunch. It was very nice. Thank it you. It was a few weeks late because I was on track. That's okay. That's not. This isn't passive aggressive. It was very generous. Thank you. Not much fanfare for my birthday. This was my present. Here we are. I got the email from UPS and I have it. And we're going to look at this together. This is the first ever figure I have. Of, of this kind. Should we, qu should, qu one question. Ask the question. Should we sing first? Happy birthday? I'm not singing happy birthday. Who's we? I'm not going to sing happy birthday to myself. <laughs> the royal we. Me and all the Mario stickers. We'll sing. No. Just pull so, up. What are we opening? We are looking at this right here. This, my friends. Brent's going to be the boxer. I'm going to be the talker. I don't know. We'll figure it out. This is the Halo 5 Guardians Play Art Sky action figure, number one Master Chief, imported from Japan. I waited so long for this thing to come out. I saw other people who are a lot more like famous than me getting early like looks at it. They also have a Spartan Lock variant. They've done one every year for every Halo. I was this close to buying the Halo 5 Guardians Ultimate Edition. I'm so glad I didn't, and instead I bought this. Does it have a like a careful? careful. Does it have like a thing you could open it? It and has see? Uh, plastic on top here. I think it has a door. Can we look at the? Oh, you want to just okay? You can open it. It's your it's your thing. No, I want you to help me. That's why you're here. Rachel normally helps me, as you know. I get very animated, and I lose. So so this forms one image, just like oh. the poster. The only thing missing, I wonder if you were to get the Spartan Lock one. Is if you looking? could put it on the other side oh! and have him looking, we have to buy it. Looking over here on this direction we towards, to like that poster we got when we went to the Halo Five launch. That I didn't get because I'm an asshole and I got it from Best Buy and not from the Microsoft Store. Do okay. you still have your poster? I still have it. Do you want it? It's not hanging <laughs> up. Well, bring it over and hang it up. Okay, so here's what the inside looks like. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. We can't see it better than you can, so we'll, we'll okay, push it go. forward to you. Yep, let's do it. And uh, so it looks like a little Halo 5 dossier. Everything on the back is it's in Japanese. Japanese. I love it. It's, or is it Korean? I don't know. It came from, I believe it's from Japan. Um, it came from, I had to buy it from the official Squaresoft store. Yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan. Okay. So this is like, the, this is the real thing that it had to go through import. Like, this took me forever to get. Ah, uh, the inside is in English. Ah, yeah, 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 it's a little, it's a little dossier. Uh, it tells you who uh, Master Chief is, if you don't know. He needs a weapon, combat evolved, some bullshit about his armor, blah blah blah. You already know all this stuff, so why don't Do you? Do you want me to nerd out on the armor that he has? That's in the game Halo Five. Should we just pop this the sucker open? Your armor, and, yes. And slide him out. Yeah, do it. Is do this it. what you want me to do? You want me to help pull out. stuff yeah, out? Yeah, help you out. don't help want out. to touch it. No, I'm, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll I don't. I don't know what you want my role to be in this video. I don't know either. We're just right we're, we're doing it. We're figuring it out. Jim is wearing pants, so at least there's that. <laughs> okay. Thank here's goodness. the tray. What's in that? So here's some other stuff. Here's the the it, components it, of the stand. I'm happy. It comes with a stand, Jim. That's really cool. That's, I'm happy you're here because you always make fun of me when I get the collector's editions. Yes. Did I'm, you say I'm they're gonna junk? The, I'm gonna put the box over here. This is now the real deal. This is no. This is posable. This is. Well beyond the normal so, stuff I get. So what I always tell Jim about his 
whenever I come over and, and look at the newest collector's editions he's got. Coming soon. Is, Final Fantasy. Um, World of Final Fantasy. I'm always disappointed about the build quality of those things. Okay. Um, I don't buy any game collector's editions because mainly because I think I've seen yours. And I'm just like, I would rather get something better for the same amount of money. So typically you end up spending... 150 ranging like a hundred dollars typically 150 to about 200 250 depending on what's in it on these collector's editions and then i come over and feel them and all they they are are a plastic mold that's been painted sometimes good sometimes bad some are better than others true um, this is true I, I really like the batman one for arkham knight i really I like that i regret you. not getting that one and, I, and it's funny because that's like my least favorite one. But I, uh, because I'm a Batman guy, what I collect is I have these Batman black and white statues at home. Yeah, the statues, right. From DC Direct. Right. Now, they're made of, it feels like porcelain. So I pay 80 to $90. I don't think I've ever paid over $100. Um, I just got one on Amazon for uh, 80 or 70 bucks. So that was a pretty good steal. Um, and it was a brand new. And what I like about those is they're kind of one of a kind. They're individually designed. Each one is uh, designed by a comic book artist that draw, has drawn Batman at some point in time. And, um, you know, they're really well made. They come wow. with a stand, and, and it's, it's themed. So all the statues I have, except for, except for one that's in color by Jim Lee, uh, they're all black and white. They're all okay. themed. Okay. They're all part of that same line. So they've, they've, uh, DC has done other things, like they have a Superman line, which is all in color, the Man of Steel line. I think they have a Harley Quinn line going right now, and and they're typically like, you know, I wouldn't say that they're. I guess if you were to stand them up, you, they'd be like eight inches tall. They're slightly taller than an action, a regular action figure, about six inch scale. So okay. they're like seven to eight. Right. And then because they're always in a dynamic pose or some of some sort, you they're not have... just standing like this all the time. Right. But they're they, they can't be moved. Right. The height varies, but they can't be moved. Right. They're for display only. So with this model, this generation, this and I'll just start up and we're talking. This has got screws and punch. This is some serious stuff. Well, so I don't know if you want me to open up the stand. We can put that together later, or you you want to get to the the figure. Uh, right. Yeah. Right, we so could do like a jump cut. I'm gonna put the stand. I will. I will wait in anticipation while you assemble it. The, the stand. But is what I like later. about this is this is this generation. They said they fixed a lot of issues from the old ones. I've seen some of the old Halo statues that exist. Whatever. We're not gonna do it that. Way. If you get the Spartan Lock variant, he's shorter than John. He should be. Okay. So he is the tallest. They're all the, they're all the right height to each other, and I think he stands 11 or 12 inches tall. Okay, uh, it's just gonna be loud, so just. Sorry. Oh. Was there scissors? Did I need scissors? No. Nope. Oh, it it could have slid off people. Just throw it on the ground. That's what I was gonna do. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh my god. So we have the box. Um, what do you want to pull out first? Everything. Everything. I guess the guy. Okay. Um, all right. Weapons. Uh, what? Something fell out. Missing some That's okay. here. Yeah, so. it probably. I would assume some of it probably okay. shifted a little bit. Now this is pretty impressive because typically it's not the vacuum form. You might get something on the back. But, you know, typically when you open these kind of things, at least at, like, regular action figures, um, you have, like, the twist ties around them. I have a little girl, and we open Barbies quite a lot, or have opened a couple. And even they've got, like, the fucking little twist ties around them. Oh, so they have to so, stand it up, you know, untwist so, the back. Gotcha. This, so is, this is loose in package. Now, what I know is that some people like to do is they like to take them out, and they like to put them back in the box. I will do that. So probably. since you keep all of your collector's edition boxes up there, um, you can do the same thing here. And in case you ever need to transport them, not saying you're going to move. I think you have a pretty nice gig here. Um, you can, or you can put I them back in the it, box. I can put everything in the box and take them. With you me. can display them in the box if I you have, want to do that. I have um, some cheap ones I got from the Nintendo store. I have a Link and I have a Samus. And it's just everything's loose in a box in plastic bags. Mm -hmm. And it's like really nasty. So I, I didn't even think about what you're saying, but that's cool. So that that's all cool the spare way. hands and the spare helmet and stuff like that, you can keep in the box and when they're not on display. So that's gotcha. that's nice too. All right, let's see this guy. This, what are you talking about? You, I want to know what you, I don't want to touch you. I don't want to get your impression. You can bend them, move them, whatever you want. Okay, let's move put that this over, over here. to the side. So let me face the camera. It's a really weird angle so that we can get both of us and still get the Master Chief. So I have a lot of um, DC Universe uh, action figures. The ones that they release now in the multiverse line are kind of the crappier descendants of the ones that I bought in college. Okay. And right when I first started working where we work. Um, 
So they were cool. they have a lot of points of articulation now. And that what I think these Kotobukiya Play Arts Kai. You know what this thing is? It's Play Arts. Play Kai, Arts Kai. Right? It's not a Kotobukiya. It's a I different company. That, yeah, I don't know what that is. Is had ooh the snaps are nice. Uh, a lot of points of articulation, so that he you can pose him in different can be ultra poseable. But you are limited probably to his armor. So I don't think he, he can't do the splits. Correct. And that was um. So the other ones that I have, um, the problem is like with Link, his sword's so heavy, when he holds his hand out, it slowly falls down. I do like, so right now, you can probably hear it. Every piece of Master Chief's articulation, shoulders, not the rolling hand. Oh, and you, oh wow, he's got like pectoral uh, articulation cool. so his arms like are in hinges so his i, I saw so you can video, move it forwards and backwards That's i saw really i saw a video of somebody talking about it and they called it like a butterfly joint or something or a butterfly maybe it's it's just this motion right here yeah i do that all the time Ladies. and his Ladies. head is ball and pin which is pretty good so you can't really look up but when have you ever seen master chief look up that much he's always looking down at his he's victims. probably got a camera in his helmet that just displays <laughs> what's going on in his visor this is pretty pretty neat Pretty neat. Now, how much was this? This was forty-seven thousand. No, it was one hundred and fifty dollars. One hundred and fifty dollars with shipping and tax. It was one sixty-ish. I had to pay an import fee. I had to pay a. Uh, it was. It was like one hundred sixty for one hundred sixty-five for everything. Everything, because they don't now. And maybe I bought this the wrong way. I don't know. The only place I could get this was on the official Square site, which was like a, a SquareSoft dot like Japan or something. Mm -hmm. And. Um, that's why it took so long to get because I saw people have them and it took a while. Like I said, it was there. Was, I got an email that said there was an import issue. You had to wait. It was back order. They pushed it back. Oh, wow. Even his neck articulates a little bit like this portion of his neck moves up and down in his chest piece, which I'm I've never seen before. So I am so excited because, you know, for me, I don't have anything Halo and I love Halo so much. So like I'm his... glowing thinking about how much I love Halo. So the fact that like to me. He looks awesome. That is what he looks like in the game. That is his Halo 5 armor. That is his Molnir power armor. You can get it in the game. You can play as the Master Chief in Spartan thing. So these are these are closed fists. So he so has closed fists. He has give me an open one. Open left and right too. So you can have a combination of open or closed fists. Let me see if I could figure out. Ah, uh, that's really nice. So. The way that you pull off these fists... I thought you broke it. No. <laughs> I, was waiting I know what I'm doing. I was, you, I, was, I was waiting to hear the, oh, uh, shit. Aren't you glad I'm here with you? So he's got a pin. Let me put it in front of something. There is it's a pin here. here. There is, yeah. Hit oh. On these joints, there's a pin. So there's nothing that you have to click on and off. It's a simple pull, which is pretty nice. Sometimes when you have uh, on the cheaper action figures, I guess you would say, they have these... Or uh, swappable hands or whatever. It's a little bit more of a uh, effort to get it on and off. And that's not that. This one snaps right on. That's pretty neat. I'm trying to get his thing on. I've got a hand already. Oh, you got a hand. Yep, okay. we got a hand. Yeah, they're very tight. No, this is very very loose. Oh no, this one's the figure. This one's like a trigger finger though. Oh, I got one. This I was trying to do the trigger. Let me try it on this one. Yeah, it's kind of hard to show this, but I mean, like, he's got the Magnum, and he's got the um, assault rifle. And I gotta say, the Magnum looks freaking awesome. It's got all the little, you know, I play so much Halo, like, I can close my eyes and think about what Iron Sight looks like when I'm standing there shooting. And all the little details in here, it's just a little piece of plastic. It's got his cracked helmet, which is awesome. What do you think about that? If you remember, if you played Halo 5, jeez, you can't see it at all. It pops up. There you go. His helmet, you remember in Halo 5, he fights Locke, and Locke breaks his helmet. You remember that? It's got the cracked helmet variant. So if you want, that's like the iconic Halo 5. They always show that picture of like the helmet cracked, like shattered, and all the um, art, you know. <laughs> I like how you looked me in the eyes lovingly. That was <laughs> kind of weird. But thanks. You're welcome. So, yeah, I'm trying to... The problem is, is I'm afraid to break it. That's why kind of the other reason I wanted you to like... <laughs> so you can take it out on me if something did break? Yeah, because you're going to buy me a new one if it breaks. So I'm going to wait another year to get it. 
So here's what it looks like. I want to show this because I think this is really neat. This is his hand with the pistol on. And you can see his finger curls around the, the gun. Let me see if I can hold it this way. With his trigger finger on it. So can you replace this? Oh, that's cool. He can hold it, the battle rifle. This is the other reason I'm glad you're here because I'm all freaking over the place. I'm so excited. There is one other thing I saw in here. The guns have like a pin on them. So you can like pin the gun to his back or his hip or something. There's only one. So I think we could pin the pistol to his leg even though his hand's in it right now. See this little pin? I think this is like a uh, weapon pin. So obviously the stand would do what? The stand is for, um, the stand would be to pose him and like right now he can't stand up on his own is what you're saying. He's too heavy. Yeah. His hands in it. He can, okay. he can barely stand up. And I got him to stand up free form without the stand. But like even this pose, he's very he's very top heavy, very wobbly. So you would need the stand to put, and that's common to have like what this plastic ring around him or something. Uh, sometimes you see them a lot more often. Some most times they'll just put it in like the foot, and he'll just stand on a peg in the foot, and you just kind of maneuver him around this peg or whatever. Well, there was a bunch of I don't know if that has this or not. I this don't one looks like it's a whole stand where it grabs him, which is I've seen on some other statues. Around his waist. My favorite toy review site is called Captain Toy. Just oh, Google it. I'm going to look that up and see. I'll put a uh, link in He does a lot the... of statue and toy reviews. I'll put a link in the thing below. I'm sure he's reviewed this by now, right? Um, I don't know if he's reviewed anything like these guys, but he does review a lot of like hot toys, if you've ever heard of those. They're a little bit bigger. They're on a 12 or 18-inch scale. Same idea. Super posable. Can I touch him? You can touch him. It's your toy. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, not toy, uh, excuse me, display. Whoa, dude, so this looks me so start good. Taking this up. So the hands come off by what, you just pull the hands out? Yep. Oh, here's your instruction manual right here. Cover it. I do like the hands, it's very easy to pull off. Uh, let's put his pistol on. So yeah, this this is just something to help him stand up and display on your on your shelves over there. Wow, that is really cool. So the build quality feels really good. The plastic feels yeah, uh, so pretty solid. That's, and that's, you know, a, lot, a lot better than some of the collector's editions um, I've, I've touched over here, which sounds a little a little dirty. I'm looking at some of Jim's collector's editions. If that's why you're wondering the, why I'm looking off to the side. Which one uh, do you want? He's got a whole I shelf. Do you want to grab one and bring it over? Is, is uh, let's grab. One? Let me go grab one. This is awesome. Look at this. I'm going to take this off for a second. Yeah, so I don't know what you guys expected from watching this video, but if you know anything about me, it's probably going to be me, like, for hours just staring at it and smiling like a freaking idiot. But this is really, really neat. Um, I love the detail, all the detail in his, his armor. He's got some battle marks where, like, he got shot, like, his armor's, like, kind of stained. You know, with a figure like this, I think what really kind of uh, overwhelms me almost, honestly, is there are so many things he can do that you couldn't do with other uh, figures before. I mean, like, I've never had a figure that's got, like, independent, I mean, the, the, the little Zelda ones, right? But, like, like when you're shooting a gun, you obviously don't have your left hand just dangling like I do now. So I'm going to have to, like, give that honest thought, like, how would that look? But the cool thing, like Brent was saying, is you can adjust it. So if you wanted to, like, almost hold the gun with two hands, I mean, that's obviously not the right pose or whatever, but you could. But you, you would do that if you're shooting at a range. Yeah, but I mean, you're not going to hold it like, I probably got the wrong hand. But my point is, because that, because his arms move like that, you have that option. If only if they you saw want the him, needler to put in the left hand if you, and you could dual wield. If you want him to stand there and like tip his hat, like, how are you doing? You can. Because I mean, you got Dom. Dom was one of the first figures I got. That's right. from the Gears of War 3. That so, was Nika. This Gears of War figure actually does have the butterfly shoulders. Oh, it does. Okay. Which uh, I don't. I think I've noticed before, but I didn't really notice that he had that they existed, much less until this figure that you got the Halo one. Um, but the reason I got these is the here's the order seventeen seventy crap. Uh, hey, you know what? <laughs> edition. It was an okay game at best. So what I what I always tell Jim when he gets these things is that the this the, is so much better. The plastic on Dom. And the texture of the plastic is the same as the order 1776. So that makes the paint a little a little more matte, I guess, or a little less intense. Whereas like he's got some sort of different plastic. I mean, 
different intensity of plastic, different thickness. I don't know if it's like the coating that they put on them that makes them Yeah, he feels change. Uh, right. Okay. Um, he's very heavy. I, I can't imagine that uh, he's almost like he's solid, whereas like most of these guys are hollow. Is that though because there's all these joints, these metal like joints and brackets? That might be a portion like... of it, but it almost feels like some parts of them are just solid plastic molds so and not, the... that they're not hollow. One of the criticisms I saw, because I did, I, I really tried my best not to look into this. Mm -hmm. I just want, because there's, there's nothing you could say about this figure that honestly would make me not want it, because I'm just such a super fan of Halo. But one of the things people criticized a lot was that he was disproportionate when he was standing up. His legs were too long, his feet were too short. And standing here, being a layman, never having one, a figure like this, I don't see that. He looks to me like in like I mean I got the I got Noble Six on the wall which is a uh, modified Spartan. He looks the same to him to me. You know it doesn't look any different. So I don't know. Um, I'm just curious what you think. He looks pretty. He looks okay to me. I think what some people forget though is I I would I would guess that they got some assets from Microsoft or 343 about the in-game multiplayer models or whatever with all the armor. And it is what it is. And it probably is what it is. Now, you have to make the, the lore distinction of a Spartan 4, which is an augmented human, augmented Whoa, after they become an adult, what? Uh, and wait, a whoa, Spartan whoa, whoa, 2, okay. like John Locke over here. Whoa, 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 who? Not John Locke. That's an old author. 117, John. Sierra 117. Yes. Ma the Master Chief. The Master Chief. A Spartan Chief. 2 who is augmented during childhood. At six And years they're old. actually taller than normal humans. They like, are. He's supposed to stand what, like eight feet? Yeah, he's ginormous. He's like he's seven like eight feet. or nine feet, whereas the Spartan fours are like seven, six and a half, seven. And if you remember when you look at the, if you guys go back and look at the Xbox One, Halo Five, limited whatever edition, Guardians wow, edition, he, he tilts. He could probably do the Macarena. Um, Locke is actually standing on a barricade, and that's what bothered me in the artwork when it shows Locke and Chief face to face, because in reality they'd be like way offset. Right, but yes, they're 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 taken at six. There's a flash cone that's put in their place. We learn about that when they go off to their training. They begin their genetic augmentation and they become super soldiers. So I I would say his proportions are probably correct for his character. Okay. They may not be correct for a regular human. Okay. So yeah. if somebody else has another twelve inch figure that they're comparing it to, they may look at where the waistline is and where the arms are and go, wow, this thing really looks really wonky. Because that's all they have to compare it to. But I would say it's not an apt comparison because he's an enhanced human. He's taller than normal humans, so his scale should be higher so, than um, anything else. So this little peg here, it looks like it fits in either gun, and there's only one of them. And there's a hole on his back. Folks, and there's one on either, either on thigh his leg here. for his pistol. So you can put, if you wanted to, just like in the game, he can have his uh, gun on the back. And there's, there's one on either, either thigh. So if you want to oh, make your so cool, your Come John left-handed or right-handed, you can choose to do so. Well, he's right-handed. Okay. We'll make it accurate. <laughs> make it lower right. So there was a um, there was a video, and I'll wrap this up because if anyone's still watching, congratulations, because I'm just totally marked out. This is so exciting to me. There was a it used to show me a um, a action figure that had replaceable faces. We looked at one, and I was like, this is so lifelike. It was Iron Man, you could replace... It was Batman, you could replace... Hot the, Toys probably made it. Is that the same people that make this? No. How do you think... You don't have the Hot Toys. I don't. The Hot Toys things range in the couple hundred dollar range. His bicep. Where it, like, they're over 200 bucks. It rotates. That is so cool. Yeah. Not his arm. I mean, his arm's still in the socket, but his whole bicep. So, so the whole appeal of the hot wow. toys, typically, there's so many things you could do to this is, guy. So he's him. he's molded specifically to be that. Whereas a lot of the hot toys figures, if you get like the Joker or maybe not a Batman or Batman and Iron Man are separate, but if you get like the Joker or they have one that's like a Rambo or they have like a Bruce Lee, basically they all have the same skeleton. And the way the reason probably why those hot toys figures are so expensive is because they put real cloth over them so but it looks a little bit better than the old school gi joes because it's like they're they're more intense on the stitching and fabrics and making sure it looks different because obviously if you cut a piece of cloth to fit a 12 to 18 inch figure it's going to hang differently than you do a you know a big fat man like this guy over here so now seeing this what does this do for you in terms of 
Is this? Do you think? You always make fun of me because I get ripped off on these collector's editions. Like, uh, in my opinion, uh, if no, you're happy fine. with them, no, I know, it's, I'm totally fine. You're right. It's but in it, my opinion, right. I think if you want to spend that kind of money, buy your sixty dollar game. You can still pre-order it and have it the day of. But put that other hundred bucks or hundred fifty bucks, whatever it would be, into a third party statue like this guy. It gets something that's better quality. So that's my question. So you always make fun of me because you say I waste my money. Like, like the order statue is not bad. Let me go get the uh, the Uncharted one. But what I was gonna, yeah, it's okay. total crap. It's not total crap. Oh, it's pretty bad. What I was gonna ask you was why you're doing that. Brennan's going into the vault. I have an official vault over there of loot. Um, do you think this is something that you think you feel like this is something that was like a good investment? You're like Jim. Finally, for once, you did good. You bought something. Is it overpriced? Probably. Is this? I mean, it's, we're talking one hundred sixty dollars for this. This is like you could spend a lot of money on things that aren't this. Um, so to get, I wouldn't call it a good investment. I oh would yeah. say the, hobbies are never investments. If, but yes, if you're looking to spend on the, on the show uh, some money on a showpiece. Something large to put in your shelves, right? On display in your room, and that's and that was the point of this. I now have for all time something I can hold in my hands of Master Chief that I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that this is probably a little bit better because you can do different poses with them. So yeah, so to put whereas it whereas like to put it in comparison, this uncharted piece of crap. To put it in comparison, just let's get a close up on. On his hair and stuff, it's just yeah. These were comparable in price when you consider that. Well, that was uh, it's, actually, it's, I think that was like 150, 140, 150. Right. So my whole point is, even if you want a statue, mm -hmm. don't buy the collector's edition statues. Go buy a different statue made by some other company. See, I think I like this better than a statue because I'm I have ideas in my head of things I want him to well, do. No, no, I understand that, but like other video games no, 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 aren't no. gonna have their own. Play Arts Kai figures. This makes me want to go buy Locke, like, right now. Like, I want to go buy Locke's right Like, now. we could go on the internet. If you wanted a, a Drake statue from Uncharted... And you could probably find a There's better probably one. a better-looking one than the one that came with Uncharted 4, unfortunately. So you heard it here first. Brent hates the collector editions. I don't hate. I think the best one you have is the... The Batman Arkham Knight one and the Mortal Kombat X, just because that animated style oh, the is Mortal cool. Mortal Kombat X, the course one is amazing. You're right. But when I saw the Order... The Order one isn't too bad... But I didn't play that game. I haven't played Uncharted, but the Uncharted one, like the likeness is pretty on, but in terms of quality, the statue's kind of kind of meh. But if that's the Boy, only way so intricate, yeah. If that's the only way you want to buy statues though, then that's fine. Right. Just don't expect something super detailed, super awesome, unless you got the Arkham Knight one. I think it's the most detailed one you got. So how we end these shows, Brent? When the when when all when all hell goes loose, Rachel reigns me in and goes, Jim, we've been talking about the same thing for an hour, and I'm like, there's more. To this say. is a 30 minute video on a, a I don't care 12 inch tall action figure. Oh, but not not any action figure. The freaking Master Chief. This I've never had one, so I don't know how to rank it. So it has to be a 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for your first try. 10 out of 10. There's nothing. The only criticism I saw, I saw repeated criticism. He's very top heavy. The thing I don't like about him is, is that he's hard to stand up. He is on his own. He, in my he, mind, he sh he should have both legs be straight, both feet flat on the floor, whether it be a table or a mat or whatever. He should be able to stand up. As like, it stands now, he's not really able to do that. He's like limping, like oh. like it's cool. It looks like he'd be able to stand up that way. So maybe he's a little bit off balance. I'm not quite sure where his CG is. But his feet, I think, because of their texture. They're, and they're not even. The bottom part of his cleat is actually a little farther down than the front. So his foot is actually like that. See, that would be my complaint. Is that even if they got everything else right, I wouldn't give a fuck if they got the foot wrong just so that he could stand up straight. I got you. If yeah. this were yeah, flat no, on the floor or not as textured. I agree. I agree with Let's you. put it up here. See, so I think that's what's making him unable to stand up straight. I agree. Unfortunately. That's my only complaint. Because well, you might, we'll put the stand together, and you might not like the stand. Yeah, I don't know. What and stand. then you would, you would want him to stand up straight. Stay tuned for another stand video in the near future. Maybe today, maybe in a month. We don't know. When we get around See, like to it, I've, I've got him pretty much. What feels like is standing up straight. And he's barely. He's able big, to do it, but he's tipping, and he's yeah, and he's rocking, know, he's and he's rocking actually back like back leaning forth. back a little bit. Yeah. Oh so. no! Sorry. It's like Brent when he gets shot in Halo Five because he sucks. 
But see, you know, you should be able just to stand it right back up. So that was one of the so the two big major criticisms I saw about it on the internet was one his uh, his top heavy and two his diaper for lack of a better term uh-huh. is a different kind of material. It has to be this th- soft yes, plastic soft. to hide it. But they weren't. But the real uh, uh, um, fans of the collector stuff said it was a different material, and it was too big. It bulged. But I don't. I don't see that in them. To me, that's what. So if you like. if you look at the multiplayer model, like, and it's pretty. It doesn't bulge out further than his chest. Right. I'm touching Master Chief's dick right now. So but weird. he does do this because of that. He does have a hinge in him that allows him to rock his whole body back. Yeah. I don't so know how to do it. But I, I they don't, were actually taking his torso. And like, I don't this. mind that this that this crotch piece, yeah, his quote unquote diaper is a soft plastic. I don't mind that. Right. The paint looks pretty on. I think you looks- can't really tell, and you're not really focusing on his crotch. You shouldn't be. You should be looking at his pose, his head. His Sorry, helmet background. is very iconic. Yeah, that, that helmet is um, so iconic. And also, too, I've seen other action figures like you can't really look at it on Dom over here. Um, some of the other ones, like my uh, DC action figures, when they do splits or whatever, because they don't have something like this, mm-hmm. you just see it's almost like their crotch is split straight down the middle, uh, and it turns into like some weird V. Okay. So if you if they wanted a a perfectly same plastic hard plastic mold of his butt piece here and his crotch, then they could have done that, but you would have seen the pegs. There was no there's no way to hide the pegs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and the mechanisms that make him so poseable. So I like this for aesthetic purposes 100% better than, than the other option and not having it. So I, I don't agree with that. But he is top heavy. That's That would be my main complaint. So out of 10, so, seeing the first ones, I'm very impressed. So I would probably give it like an 8. Is this something now that... The two points are for standability for sure. I mean, I really think these guys should be able to stand up on their own. No problems. And the stand that it comes with should be for... Some crazy ass pose you want to put them in, like, uh, like a, a lot of times when you see these stands that they come with, they are because the the action figure floats or flies. Yeah, like I'm jumping. So like in a the Superman or, action or figure or would be like hovering, and you can hang him and point his feet down like he would be flying, and just gives that illusion. Whereas like this Master Chief doesn't fucking fly. He should be able to stand up, no problem, and and you have problems standing him up. I think it looks so cool. Well, thank you, Brent, for joining me today on this video. This is the first of uh, many. I will most likely pre-order a uh, lock tonight. <laughs> or order it whenever it comes, it comes. Maybe we come back and do another it, it one. Will, it will still be a... Actually, I don't know if you want to do that. Maybe just go buy the cheap uh, Super Collector's Edition out on Best Buy for 50 bucks. I, get I, the statue. I feel like this is... Or you is, could get that. I'm very happy that um, I finally have this piece of memorabilia. It was totally worth it. I was hoping for, I know it wouldn't have been this quality. I was hoping for something along the lines of this in the, like, loot crate. I didn't come anywhere close, but it doesn't matter. Because now I have this. I could pose them in different places. We'll figure out the stand eventually. And uh, this thing's going to be, uh, I hope these joints last because I'm going to be, like, constantly, like, po- posting Yeah, what, what I thought loot crate should have done in their Halo one is you know, put an action figure the size of Dom in here. Oh, I know. You know, I'm sure they have tons of them laying around somewhere. Well, oh well. That's all we have for today's uh, show, if you want to call it that. Did you bring your uh, recorder? I did not. Well, then this is this. It's is a it. web exclusive. It's a web exclusive. Oh, I don't know how good of a. This would probably have made an okay thing because 99% of the time I was just looking down, going, "Oh my god, oh my god." Oh my yeah, god. but it's we're showing something, so it would have been a terrible That's, podcast. I think it would be a great podcast. Well, we'll never know because Brent has one job and he failed. Thank you guys, Brent, thank you, and we'll see you guys very soon. See you on the other side.